you guys smell that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the new oh chili rellano. Look at this. Ooh, it looks restaurant style. And we are going to try this in this taste test. If you're new here and you like this channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and sit back and relax. Let us try all the foods. Let us tell you if it's good or bad. And don't waste your money on overpriced, inflated groceries when you don't have to because we're here to tell you the truth. Is it good or is it a no-go? I mean, I'm excited. I don't know about <laughs> you, but I sure am. Yes, we have a bunch of things to try today. One of them being the new chili rellenos. Another being the new cheery lemon animal crackers. Plus we have a beer and a couple oldies but goodies to try. So get ready and get set. Let's go. We're going to start off today with something that is a goodie or oldie or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm revisiting it. I got this months ago when what it first it? came out. I'm leaving them in anticipation <laughs> here. This is the cheeseburger burrito. So um, I love these these fresh burritos and they just microwave pretty quickly. A, dollar, like a minute 25. Um, I remember having a lot of pickles and that was something that put was off-putting to me. No, I feel like you said you didn't even taste the pickles in that. Really? Yeah. Well, let's see. I don't remember. Let's try it again. <laughs> refresh our memory. Yeah, I think the pickles flavor is there. I think that was like the one drawback that I had. Mm -hmm. um, there's like the sauce flavor. I, I, like, I would say they probably did a good job of making this like a cheeseburger, but it's not like my favorite cheeseburger because <laughs> I would typically get it with no no pickles. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's fun. I, I, I think the idea is fun. Um, I, I still do enjoy it. Like, I kind of just got to ignore the flavor of the pickles, but... Um, <laughs> I like these. I think they're really good. Uh, if you haven't ever gotten these burritos, there's several different options. So check them out in the fresh section at Trader Joe's, and and maybe there's one that stands out to you that you like the most. But um, yeah, yeah, this one's this one's pretty good. I think it's fun. It's kind of it's different, you know. Yeah. It's not like the normal burrito that we get. But I will say the fresh burritos that Trader Joe's sells um, are it's so they're so much better than the frozen burritos that you buy at stores. Even at Trader Joe's, they're they're heartier. There's more filling in them. They're quick to heat up. So if you're in a time crunch at work or whatever, and you don't have a lot of time to like cook your food, this is a good option just for you know quickness. They are a little still pricey in my opinion, like four dollars for. But a they're burrito. fresh though, which is. But they're fresh, a lot and better. they're a good size. So um, all of that taken into account, I like the black bean and cheese burrito. That's. That pretty much the only one other than the um, breakfast one now they have like an egg wrapped yeah. one which is also good but if I was to choose I'd go for the black bean and cheese with salsa added so that's yeah. and for me I really like the chicken sausage breakfast burrito right that was like, everybody that was knows mine. that yeah they already know but <laughs> everybody that watches good. these videos knows that's Tim's <laughs> favorite burrito but um, it's nice to revisit that one so we are moving on. Now I'm going to go into something that I want to show you guys, which is the veggie wrap with hummus. Um, we're letting the chili relleno cool down because it's hot, hot, hot. We air fried it, by the way, um, so it's just cooling off. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys this wrap. Now, there's something stinky about this wrap. <laughs> I can smell it from here. It's a stinky wrap, and um, but it's quick and easy, and it's a good grab and go. So this one does not come with a sauce. Some of the older wraps used to come with sauce, but this is what it looks like. It is very plain tasting, and you might be wondering, well, why the heck would you buy it if it's so plain tasting? Because I add stuff to it and make it taste even better. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it plain and tell you guys what I taste. Mmm, this one has like a lot of onion flavor in it, actually. Different than what I remember it being, but again, kind of like a plain flavor. So what I like to do is add avocado to it. I feel like avocado is the perfect addition to this. I don't have avocado today, but I do have a chunky guacamole pack from Costco, and I feel like this would do the trick just as good. Did you want to try yeah. a bite and give it your opinion? I'm good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to try it together, doing the guac cup and seeing how it tastes with the guac. This is a cold wrap, so just, I, I wouldn't recommend heating it because the lavash bread that it's wrapped in is a very like thin, soft bread and I feel like it would make it crispy. So anyway, I put a little guac on top. I'm gonna try it and tell you guys how much better it is. Mmm. <laughs> 
I don't know, the avocado just gives it, it gives it a little something extra, it gives it more flavor. It makes it taste complete, in my opinion, because just on its own, it's a little plain. Also, I think like hot sauce or something would be good in this. A crema might be really good, some type of dressing, um, but I like to add just avocado, make it simple, and it's delicious. So I like these, I recommend them, but you do need to add to it. All right, we're gonna get into something to drink because I'm thirsty, and I promised you guys that we're gonna try the coconut smoothie from Trader Joe's. This is a teeny tiny little smoothie, but it is so luxurious. Such a good, creamy consistency to this, and it just tastes amazing. I'll let you go first since I'm wearing lipstick. Super. I love coconut. <laughs> you, you're coming um, around to coconut. This doesn't smell great. I'll be honest. Like I, the I coconut chocolates that we've had, I've been, mm, I've been that down for. That smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not my style. I def, I mean, I, I, I have come around on like chocolate and coconut, but that, mm. Mm -mm, I'm not for it. It's creamy. It's got like a very rich coconut flavor in, in it. Um, it's, I don't know, I just think all around it's good. If you wanted to add this to a smoothie that you're making, a lot of people do coconut milk, but I do think it would be kind of fun to add it to your own personal smoothie if you want to stretch it out and maybe get like two, um, two servings out of this, you could do that too. But I like to just drink it straight out of here. It's really nice, it's refreshing, and I like the flavor, so I like that. All right, I think it's finally time that we move on to the chili relleno. Yes. So uh, it has this sauce, we air fried it and uh, drizzled the sauce on the plate, then put it right on top. Yep. So it looks kind of a lot like the picture did. Yeah. So um, let's, let's dig in, I'm excited for this. Okay, so I was gonna say that the recommended way that they said to do this is to put the sauce on first, then the relleno on top. So that's what we did. Hopefully it tastes Amazing. I heard the sauce was less than desirable and um, it's better to just find your own sauce, but we'll let you guys know. Oh my gosh, the texture is really good. The breading on the outside. Yeah, exactly. Holy. It's like not crispy at all, but it's also not soggy. Yeah, or, it's, it's like just, it's unique. <laughs> it's really good. It's so good. Honestly, this is, it's so good. Yeah, and the flavor of this chili relleno is really good. Mm. So it's a big chili. And uh, the cheese is delicious. The breading's great. Um, we obviously are enjoying this. You guys don't sleep on this. This is good. Yeah. This is like really delicious. And I don't know what the person is talking about the sauce. It's delicious. It's yeah. a tomato base, I think. Yeah. And it is fabulous. Fantastic. <laughs> I can't even look up. I'm just cutting into this thing. I want to eat all of it before I Tim know. gets to it. Because you know Tim. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to take <laughs> over. And I won't get any. Honestly, mm. we... Are distracted by eating this so much that we just stopped filming for a second while well, we the video was rolling but we were just going to town on this thing this is delicious that's all that's left on there barely anything um it's so good you guys uh, the only thing I would say that I'm disappointed in is that it only comes with two <laughs> yeah. um, and the sauce packet I do wish I know that we're trying to reduce plastic and all that the sauce packet is frozen and it comes in with the uh, individually wrapped ranios, but the packet itself is just one single packet. So it forces you to either, you have to make all of it together, the sauce, and you either have to make both the ranios together or you dump the sauce, or I guess you could save some of it, but I feel like once it gets heated up, yeah. I just don't know how long it would save. So that's a bummer. They should just perforate it and they could, yeah. they wouldn't have to use any more plastic. That's such a good idea because then you wouldn't have, yeah, because yeah. right. it's a big, it comes in like a bag like this big. Yeah. So that would be really smart to perforate and then you could, you know, have it for individuals, especially for people that are living alone and they don't need to have two all at the same time. Yeah. Like that just seems a little crazy. But other than that, these are fantastic. They taste restaurant quality, mm. restaurant style. See, I knew I had to eat it because Tim's, I already, know. Tim's not, going, he's done, he's <laughs> finished it. Um, no, there's a little more. <laughs> but yeah, those. so those are like definitely a really delicious, delicious food. Yeah, those are really good. I like it a lot. Like you said, I agree. I think that they are pretty close to restaurant quality. Yeah. Uh, and the way that the texture it had when we air fried it, oh, so could, perfect. can't beat it. I'm definitely gonna be buying some more of them because I could see myself having one of these as a lunch and it would be 
so good. So, so good. Yes. I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going to move on to something that <clears throat> we're probably less than thrilled to try, which is the overnight oats strawberry. And the only reason I say that is just the texture. Everybody has different thresholds for texture, right? And for myself, my son, and I think Tim too, the mushy texture is yeah. just not the most pleasant in our opinion, but I know so many people that love overnight oats and this is the new strawberry flavor. So we're going to try it for you guys. But again, if we don't like it, it's more the texture, unless the flavor's off. We'll tell you about the flavor, but. Here we go. It tastes like cereal. Does it? Yeah. I don't know. It, the, the flavor's fine. It definitely is like a strawberry flavor, but like you said, it's the texture for me. It's, it's, it's soggy. Um, hmm. And I don't know, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not bad. It, it's interesting. It has like an interesting flavor. Um, there's almost like a tartness to it and I can't pin pinpoint exactly why or where or like, like a sour, almost like a little bit of a sour note, not in a bad way either. It's just a unique flavor that I'm getting from this. It does taste like strawberry, especially the aftertaste. I feel like the aftertaste is more strawberry than the first bite that you take. I agree with that. Um, and I do think this one seems a lot more watery than the other yeah. ones I've tried. There's like a good amount it. of liquid in here <laughs> and normally like the Trader Joe's oats are very the the liquid is kind of just all coagulated and like you Blended know and yeah. yeah so that's a difference that I noticed I feel like the texture yeah it's they're like soggy oats but it definitely gives me like a, a cereal soggy cereal vibe yeah like at the I mean, end I of your that. cereal and you're eating yeah. it and it tastes so similar to like a soggy cereal and milk so um I, I feel like this is a good flavor. Yeah. Strawberry, it's fun. I think you you, you take every day uh, overnight oats. You take the overnight oats, and they've they've had so many of these. We've tried so yeah. many different flavors. I want to talk just to the flavor now. The strawberry flavor is there. Yes. But it isn't just strawberry. Like there's definitely more to mm -hmm. it that I'm like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> like uh, speaking to the outside of the texture, I would say the flavor's okay. The texture is not for me. Yeah. Um, but if you like over overnight oats, this is, and this strawberry, I think is probably one of the better ones. I agree. I think the strawberry so, is one of the better ones too. Yeah. I like it. So, anyways, um, we're moving on now to. Should we get into the beer? Yeah, let's do the beer. So this, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll talk about this one. This is the Brewery X. Again, this is one that is in Anaheim, California. It's a nitro beer. Now, here's the interesting thing. You gotta shake. Is that, it. You gotta shake it aggressively. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it says shake hard. Rest, rest 30, thirty seconds. Okay, well it's resting. We're pour gonna... hard. Pour hard. Yeah, you gotta pour okay, it hard. You shit, okay. shook it. You're scared. Uh, <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, we're while we're waiting, we're doing the nut off. You guys ready for the nut oh, off? Let's nut off. Let's let's do this. <laughs> All right, we've got the cashew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got the cashew butter cashews. We got the almond butter almonds, and then we got the cinnamon sugar almonds to try. Mm. And I I think I'm gonna start with the ones that I feel like are my least favorite favorite because I do love these. So it's not that I don't like them, I just they're like my least favorite favorite. If that makes sense. Are you sense? are you influencing the nut off? What do you mean? I mean, you're already saying the least favorite within the nut off. I don't know. I'm saying my least favorite favorite because I do. <laughs> these are my three favorites. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Almondy. Almondy and yes. delicious. Mm-hmm. Got a little saltiness. It's very creamy because of the outer coating. Um, I do like that salt that mixes in there. It, it, so I think what this tastes like is an almond. It just tastes straight up like an almond, but the difference softer. is that yeah, a big shocker. But the difference no, I said is that softer. oh, softer. That's exactly yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say. So is that the texture is a lot softer and a lot easier to eat than a real almond, which is like a car crunch. Yeah. And uh, so the the coating on the outside uh, tastes the same as the inside, but it just softens it up. There's a little sweetness too, so it's not just exactly like an mm. almond. A little bit. Yeah, because there's sugar in here. So they add sugar, milk, sugar, butter, sea salt, sea salt cocoa, cocoa powder. powder. Yeah, so okay. there's like a definitely like a sweetness to it, but it's nice and it's subtle. Next up, we're gonna go to the cashew butter cashews. These were my like all time favorite for so long. And I think I told you guys in the haul, but 
I burned myself out of these because I <laughs> was buying so many. I think I did too, though. Yeah, we love these. They're so good. So yeah, I think Tim and I both just kind of like, we overwhelmed ourselves with these. These yeah. look so much bigger than they used to be. They used to be a lot yeah. smaller. This is a great snack, though. Let's see love if it them. hasn't changed at all. Mm, those are good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These are honey roasted cashews. Mm -hmm. And this coating on the outside, it's sweet. It's satisfying. That's really what it is. It's yeah. a very satisfying taste. And the cashews are soft. And it's just, wow. I, I mean, I love cashews in general. So, yeah. you want another one? Um, no, only because we got to go back to the beer. Okay, let's go, go to the so beer before let's we have bust the cinnamon it open. sugar. So, it. I told you already, you got to shake it. This is nitro, and it's called Doubling My Vision. Mm -hmm. So, a uh, nice little play. Oh. Oh my gosh, how did it not explode? Uh, okay, it kind of is. It's a little bit... It's foaming. Foaming. It's foaming at the mouth. Ooh, this is a it's dark beer. It's okay. foamy, homie. Okay, here Oh, we go. I see the nitro. Do you see that? All yeah. the bubbles? Yeah. Okay, you're supposed to pour it straight. I don't know what you're doing. A pour it straight? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's nitro. You want those bubbles to fizz down. Okay. All right, so this looks like a coffee to me. Like a I know. latte. It smells mm -hmm. strong. We already had a second coffee today, so now I'm on a coffee cake. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. I don't, whoa. Whoa. That, that's got like a, a real strong yeah, aftertaste Yeah, it does. There. It has a real strong aftertaste. Let me um, it. I mean, ugh. do you like it? Yeah. No, I don't. It's too bitter for me. It's, um, whew, I, I feel like I need the sweetness. So let's open this cinnamon sugar almonds. Good because call. Because I think. Now I want to recap it on here. It needs so some sweet. It's definitely like a Guinness, except yeah. even stronger, I think. Uh, so. If you like Guinness, you'll probably really like this because mm -hmm. it's that strong flavor, which is just too much for us. Yeah. But it's a good quality beer. Yeah. You can taste that the quality is definitely there. It tastes very like rich and it doesn't have any weird sourness or like bitterness in a bad way. It's bitterness in a beer way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Some people love that. I just prefer not to have that flavor, but let's try it with some things. What, what are these? These are the cinnamon sugar almonds. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> These are so good. Yeah. Those are different. Mm hmm You know, they win the nut off because There's they have cinnamon and yeah. sherry. Um, they do win the nut off. I give you I give you that. <laughs> they definitely do because, go ahead, what were you saying? I was just going to say, I think we went in reverse order. Those other two, <laughs> they're coated in just their own, you know, nut and... <laughs> And and the this one here is coated in like sugar and cinnamon and just yeah talk. <laughs> yeah I agree. Um, there's a reason that we so when we first tried these these are a fairly new products I'd say maybe a few months old. Uh, when we first tried these we absolutely loved them we devoured them and I said never again because we like them too much like where they were becoming a problem <laughs> and now. Because we're doing the nut off, I wanted to buy them and give them a try again. And they do win. They're delicious, okay? <laughs> I love cinnamon sugar flavored anything. Churros, give me a churro. I will eat it. Give me the cinnamon sugar almonds. I'm going to eat it. So good. All right. Well, since we're we're on the sugar train, let's keep it rolling. And let's move on to the cheery lemon animal crackers. These are the last product that we're trying. They really kind of match. Um, and yeah, they're the cherry lemon crackers and they're, uh, animal crackers. And I will say they're in like a little to go pack. So if you need to take something with you to the theme park, these might be fun. Theme park, huh? Yeah. Okay. I like taking lunch and stuff to theme parks because it's too expensive. These mm, are what they look like. lemony. I love the sprinkles on them. Mmm. Those are good. We definitely have that lemon yogurt flavor. Mm -hmm. I love it. If you guys don't know, a lot of you do because you're avid Trader Joe's shoppers. But if you don't, Trader Joe's not only does like seasonal products for for the season and also for the holidays, they also do like random flavors of season. So right now it's lemon and they got the lemon sheet cake in. It wasn't at my store. That's why I didn't buy it. They also had the lemon scones come back in. Again, that's didn't right. have them at my store. Um, and then I think the lemon Alfredo is also available. 
Now, one exception to this is there is the Kringle is out too, and I meant to tell you guys this in the haul and I forgot. The Raspberry Kringle is back at Trader Joe's for a limited time. That's their season right now. It's like the Easter flavor that they have. And it's the best flavor in my opinion. I love the raspberry flavor. And the reason I didn't buy it, first of all, it went up like I think $2 at Trader Joe's. Second of all, it's just a massive Kringle and we have so many sweets already that we just don't need more. And I know you can freeze it and I've fr frozen them before, but I just find that our family cannot eat at all. It's just, yeah. and I don't want it to go to waste. So if you like Kringle, it's delicious. I would wish they came out with like a mini version because I would be buy good, that yeah. all the time. Just like yeah. a mini Kringle that I could buy and our family could enjoy. And then I don't feel like I have to waste any or like freeze it and then forget about it. So that's it. Having said that, these lemon animal crackers are really good. They taste very lemony, not synthetic. I like the crunch yeah, of the crunch. little um, uh, non-pareils on there. And... I mean, I feel like these are fun. They're and, fun. And the cracker themselves, or the cookie, whatever you want to call it, uh, are, I feel like, a little bit crunchier than, like, the mother's uh, animal cookies. Yeah. And so, um, I like them. They're, they're fresh. They have that lemony flavor, which is uh, very bright and summery. So They're so good. I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good cookie. Yeah. Well, that's it. We tried everything, and now you guys are sitting here waiting, like, what's the question of the week? Well, let me tell you. What is something that someone had said to you in the past that was a big motivating factor in your life and that created a change for the better in your life? I would like to know what that person said to you and how you changed and how it made you um, do something different or better or whatever. So it could be anything anything like a teacher said to you, a coach, a family member, a friend, a spouse, whatever, what was something that was impactful and motivated you to change your life for the better? That's the question. So the one that I have is somewhat recent and I feel like I've had a few of these throughout my life. I think my mom and my dad play a big impact in motivating me to be the person I am today. But I think some of my coaches when I played soccer also had that impact. But the person I'm thinking about in this situation is this guy right here. Oh. Yeah. So, um, you know, years ago before I started YouTube, he was such an advocate to me and saying, you know, you have these talents to be able to speak in front of people. I'm, I'm not afraid of public speaking. Like, I enjoy that. And I just... I, I never like had confidence in myself to start our YouTube channel because I was fearful of X, Y, and Z. I mean, it's, it is scary to be on the internet and hear others' opinions and people bring up random things about you that have nothing to do with the actual topics that you're talking about. And that was something that I was worried about. But this man did not quit for like two years. <laughs> I'm not kidding, like two years. He was like, you need to start a YouTube channel. You'd be so good at it. And he just like, he didn't give up, but he wasn't so pushy where it like was off-putting to me. It was just like, it had happened in my time, but I feel like that was so impactful in the trajectory of our life. And without this YouTube channel, I have no idea where I'd be right now, honestly. I just feel like this has become such a, an amazing platform. First of all, because of you guys, you kept it so positive and you've really made me enjoy doing this and being in front of you and talking and stuff like that. So. I think that's pretty much like, I feel like one of the most impactful things. Mm, I like that answer. Yeah. <laughs> I know you um, didn't know that answer. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Um, for me, I, I think it's going to go back to one of my teachers in college. Uh, I, had, I was taking entrepreneurship courses and one of the things that really stood out to me and really resonated with me was that he said, if you don't go out and take care of what you need to take care of, nobody else is. And what that was telling me is like, hey, you know what, I, I, I grew up, you know, all the way you go through high school, you get into college, you start realizing you've got, you know, independence and that you're self-reliant upon yourself. Um, but that one really resonated, resonated with me because it says, hey, you know what, if you don't do it, nobody is gonna go do it for you. And it just pushed me to be a little bit more proactive with my life and plan things out and go act with a purpose. And so um, not as great of an answer as you, but it's something that I think has really been impactful for me throughout my life. Well, I think it is a good answer because 
I think college is a pivotal moment in all of our lives or around that age, I should say, where you are becoming more independent from your parents mm -hmm. and you're learning how to do things on your own, pay bills, you know, live on your own, do all those things. And I think it is um, something that I feel like a lot of young folks should be able to hear because yeah. uh, I think you rely on your parents for so long and so many years and then all of a sudden it's like a switch flips and you're like, well, I still have to have my mom make my doctor's appointments or whatever. So I think... <laughs> I do think that's a that's a good one. So I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Um, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, it was entertaining to you and you wanna support our channel without having to spend a dime, go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all the videos. We have new videos every Friday and Saturday for Trader Joe's and Aldi every Wednesday and Thursday, so. And don't forget to check out Katie's uh, podcast channel as yes. well. We'll put the link down in the description box. Perfect, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.